subscribe to my channels. It's been a while I haven't done an update. My fish is still booming, still banging. And I've also gotten into some plants that I'm going to show you all just in a little bit. <laughs> Planting, all these things is things that help relax you. Gives balance. I have to actually change my pumps for the ponds this morning. And I did notice this waterfall was a little slow. And I am... Um, when I did the cleaning, the pump wasn't coming back on when I um, started it back up. So I had to go and get a new pump for the cichlid pond. Actually recently also got a new pump for the um, pillory, my life bearer pond I like to call it. Although there are some cichlids in there as well. Um, those ponds that, that Life bearer upon pump was running for about more than five years for sure. The pump for the, the, pump for the cichlid pond and the one I changed in the coil pond this morning, they would have for at, le at least two years. Just before they took this stuff working. These fish not to the top of the pond, I guess they're not really hungry. Like there, there are a lot of small fish. I do have some cichlids and some rainbow fish, false money, red rainbows in here. But because of all of the plants, they don't always come up. I have some Johannes in here as well. That one also has a lot of shrimp, red cherry shrimp, blue, blue dreams, lots of snails that I used to feed the puffer fish, Amazon puffers. I have some albino bristle nose in here. I have um, a pair of red crayfish. I can't remember the other one. Um, red claw crayfish. They're supposed to be breeding. And some crabs in here. And I can't see any offspring. Very now and again, I see the crab. Since I put the crayfish in here, I haven't seen them. Because <laughs> I get a amount of plants in here. As you can see, um, my plant, my philodendron, variegated bull mark, bull marks. Um, this one is not as variegated as the other one here. I bought these recently. Spent a pretty nifty amount. Hmm. This one has more variegation, variation in the leaf pattern. Um, it hasn't been growing as aggressively as this one though so this one started off with five leaves when I got it and obviously it's well these two here three and then these two with some variations these are two new shoots coming up here um, 
I'm thinking it will get darker. There are about two days. This one hasn't opened out yet. I'm seeing some variation in the lightness of the leaves, so I'm hoping it gets darker and has more variation. Um, I don't know what I might do is trim back these two straight green leaves here. This one also, depending on how much more leaves come up. So, it's my plant box. They're kind of more modern box and they can't take too much sunlight so I have them in the back behind um, my table and two front porch chairs it's always so exciting to see new life <laughs> so guys I also add this this fern just transplanted it A white pot. Um, find this to be a nice pot, a white top. Um, so I'm expecting that this spoon is going to cover the entire top of the, the pot. I would like to get a black pot, but the nature's group being white, it's not looking that bad. I was trying to get a black pot. That had this kind of shape but I wasn't getting that. Now what I'll be observing is the conditions of this plant because it's two different areas and um, it's about 3, 3.30 on a Sunday afternoon here. Yeah. And this side of the yard is getting a lot of sun and the other side there is not getting any. So you see how the growth goes. Since I planted these rubber plants as well, they have really gotten big in this spot. I would not lie, I did put some uh, fertilizer in it. <laughs> some blue salt. And boy did they start to grow with speed. My lawn needs cutting. The guys were supposed to come Tuesday, told me they would have come Friday, but I wasn't in here. Um, so hopefully this week they'll come, but you see my red palm, one of three. It's starting, it's starting to get really, really bright red now. So it's now coming along. Subscribe to my channels.